Welcome to There's No Place Like Home, the radio show coming to you on WRXB 1590 AM and Pinellas County Connection TV. This program is presented to you as an opportunity to hear information that can help you fulfill the dream of owning your very own home. We also share information about upcoming special events and programs to help you enjoy the good life here in Pinellas County, as well as other items of interest. The sponsor of this program is the Housing Finance Authority of Pinellas County, which offers the First Time Home Buyers Program, your key to home ownership, helping people in Pinellas, Pasco, and Polk Counties make their dreams of home ownership a reality. I'm Jane Merlin, alongside Frank Bowman, your host for today's show. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Jane, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Did you make any New Year's resolutions this year? Um, always do. This year, hopefully, they're a little more meaningful and we'll have a little more uh, uh, truth to them in terms of being able to live up to them, but uh, mostly just to uh, learn how to uh, enjoy life and to, um, to take things as they come, and uh, I think... And that's probably part of the age thing too. Is we're oh. getting used to. Well, you don't you don't have to worry about that yet. But uh, you just you just learn uh, to try to identify what's important in your life and make the best of things. I think that's good for everybody to do, no matter what age you are. It's true. It's just. Uh, I guess the the lesson has sunk in a little bit as you get a little older. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, today we're going to be talking about. Uh, well, I guess it's it's not quite a happy uh, issue, but we're talking about tax season coming up in a couple of months. And uh, many folks may not think they will be getting a refund, but we'll tell you about a program that may come uh, as a welcome surprise to a lot of folks and uh, ability to uh, maybe put some money back in your pocket. We cover this topic each year in advance of tax season uh, because it is a very important uh, uh, program that a lot of people don't know about that they can take advantage of. And uh, today's guest guest is Eddie Birch, who's the communications specialist with the Juvenile Welfare Board, uh, and uh, JWB is very much involved with this program, and uh, he works with the Children's Services Council. Uh, before we begin our discussion, uh, however, Jane, you've got an important message from our sponsor, the Housing Finance Authority. I do, and I think that after hearing uh, our discussion this morning, this might really encourage people who might get one of those unanticipated refunds to maybe think about home ownership. So mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's a nice tie-in. The Housing Finance Authority, or the HFA as we call them, is offering its first-time home buyer program for individuals in Pinellas, Pasco, and Polk counties who have never owned a home or who have not owned a home in the last three years or veterans. The HFA offers a low rate on its 30-year fixed-rate mortgage, and if you need a little help with down payment and closing costs, they can help you with that as well with the Home Key Second Mortgage, and that's available in Pinellas, Pasco, and Polk counties. To get your key to home ownership, call 464-8210 or visit the website at pinellascounty.org slash community slash HFA. And Frank, we should mention that um, the down payment assistance in Pasco County is relatively new for the program mm-hmm. and we're very excited about that, but we should also remind people that that is a limited offer for folks in Pasco and Polk counties for down payment assistance. So, Yeah, and that really does help folks who are right on the edge of being able to purchase a house. Uh, they've put some money uh, aside, and uh, but there are some costs, and, and the current lending uh, structure requires there to be some contributions from the buyer. So the down payment assistance program is, is a wonderful advantage, and people really need to check that out. Well, right now, it's my pleasure to welcome our special guest for today. Eddie Birch is a communications specialist with JWB Children's Services Council. Eddie has worked on the marketing and the outreach committee for the Wealth Building Coalition, who we'll be talking about today, for a number of years, and he joins us today to discuss a program that could put money in your pocket. And we'll share some of the additional money-saving tips as we prepare for this year's tax season. Welcome to There's No Place Like Home, Eddie. Thank you, Frank. Jane, we really appreciate the opportunity and the, uh, the help you uh, provide in getting this important information out to the community. Thanks for having us. Yes, and this is a program that we repeat every year because, uh, folks, you may want to put uh, get a pencil and paper and take down some notes, some phone numbers, and some addresses because uh, this is information that you really can use. Um, Eddie, as we mentioned earlier, uh, you know, we cover this topic every year, and uh, the 
talk about the great work that your organization does to let folks know about money they may not uh, know that they're entitled to through the Earned Income Tax Credit, EITC program. Uh, tell us about the Wealth Building Coalition and what the uh, EITC program is. Well, to, uh, I'll start with the EITC. That stands for Earned Income Tax Credit, and uh, that's, uh, that's money, that's a credit that by working, if you meet the certain uh, income levels and uh, requirements, that you're entitled to a credit. And uh, it was created in 1975. It's one of the largest anti-poverty programs in the United States. It's estimated that it's lifted 6.6 .6 million Americans out of poverty, and half of those are children. That's why uh, the Juvenile Welfare Board has been so interested in this program, because uh, we want to improve the lives of children and families in Pinellas. And uh, EITC is one thing that can do that through uh, money that they've earned. And uh, last year, 26 million people in the U.S. received nearly $59 billion from the Earned Income Tax Credit in the United States. And four out of five eligible, eligible people claim the EITC. And our goal is to make it five out of five in Pinellas County. That's what we're striving for. Well, now that we know what the earned income tax credit is, Eddie, would you tell us what the qualifications are? How do people become eligible for this? Um, and the three things affect your uh, what you're uh, qualified for. It's your, your marital status, uh, number of children you have, and your adjusted gross income. If you make uh, less than $43,998, or if you're married and filing jointly, and make forty nine thousand less than forty nine thousand seventy eight dollars with three or more qualifying children, you can get the EITC. And if you have two qualifying children, and an individual makes forty thousand nine hundred sixty four dollars or less, or a married filing jointly couple makes less than forty six thousand and forty four dollars, you qualify. If you have one child, and an individual makes thirty six thousand fifty two dollars or less or a married filing jointly couple makes 41132 or less, you qualify. Even if you have no children, if an individual makes less than $13,660 in 2011, they would qualify, or a married couple making less than $18,740 would qualify for the EITC. Um, the Wealth Building Coalition is the local organization that uh, sort of sponsors and uh, promotes this? Yes, and the Wealth Building Coalition is uh, in its uh, 10th anniversary this year. And uh, the, way, the way it started, a little bit of history on the Wealth Building Coalition is uh, Lunell uh, Britt, the executive director at the Sanderland Center in St. Petersburg, attended a, a JWB training about a decade ago, a little bit longer than that, and she heard about this uh, earned income tax money that wasn't returning to St. Petersburg. And she thought, you know, we apply for grants and we, we try all this to raise funds to help children and families, and this money's out there, so let's do something about it. And she talked with Janice Ford at the uh, St. Petersburg Weed and Seed, and uh, that's how the, the seed was planted and the Wealth Building Coalition grew out of that. Um, I've got a two-page list of partners and sponsors that we have, uh, everything from from banks like uh, Wells Fargo and Raymond James and Bank of America to uh, nonprofit agencies, and we'll talk about some of those later with the financial literacy uh, work that is done with the Wealth Building Coalition and uh, faith-based organizations, and then Pinellas County, Pinellas County Schools, and JWB. So we have government representatives on there as well, and. Um, so Wealth Building Coalition, uh, major effort is to promote awareness of this earned income tax credit and to work with the IRS to provide free volunteer income tax assistance. And we'll talk more about those VITA mm -hmm. sites later as well. And um, the Wealth Building Coalition itself has recently gotten uh, moved to a new office mm -hmm. location. Where about is, uh, did it go? It's uh, now housed at the JWB Children's Services Council, which is in the ICOT Center uh, right uh, north of Almerton Road in uh, Clearwater is our address, on uh, 58th Street North. And uh, that has, JWB has always been very involved in the Wealth Building Coalition. And by, by moving the offices right here in JWB, we're able to create some synergy and, and some linkages that we have uh, already at JWB with our neighborhood family centers, seven of which are VITA sites, mm -hmm. and uh, working with the organizations that we work with. Uh, Wealth Building Coalition has always worked with uh, uh, Coordinated Child Care, uh, Pinellas County Schools, and um, we're able to link those things together. and hopefully expand the program even more and reach more people. Mm, great. Now, Eddie, the um, 
earned, in, earned income tax credit program is not only good for the people who are receiving the tax credit, but it's also really helpful to the community. Can you explain how this is such an important benefit for all of us in Pinellas County? Well, really, it, it's it's like a, um, I guess, a snowball effect, kind of. When that money comes back to the Pinellas County, that's money that can be spent at local businesses. Uh, for instance, last year, um, in earned income tax dollars alone, $2.3 million was brought back to Pinellas County from the Vita sites. I mean, in a, in a tough economy like we've been going through, that $2.3 million might have saved a few businesses in Pinellas County with those people spending that money on things they need, like clothes for their kids or a roof for their home. Uh, it might have kept people in their homes or helped them uh, get that down payment and, and maybe get a, get a home for themselves and saved a few jobs. That's that's how important this money is because uh, if it's not claimed, it's just not here to be spent locally. And uh, that's that's what we want to do is uh, bring that money back to the families and uh, help the local economy. That's a great program, and I'm so glad that we have the opportunity to share the information with people and hopefully encourage them to participate. Mm-hmm. Um, and as you said earlier, I, I liked your comment about the opportunity to, to possibly have enough down payment to get their home. And I think even more importantly, um, possibly saving themselves from a foreclosure situation. So this is extremely important, and and I hope everybody listening will take advantage of it. Let's give people right now the website where they can go get more information about the Earned Income Tax Credit. Uh, In addition to uh, the Wealth Building Coalition being housed at JWB, uh, the JWB website has a page. It's uh, www.jwbpinellas.org slash WBC. That stands for Wealth Building Coalition. And on that page, you have links to everything you need to know about the Earned Income Tax Credit, Vita Sites. If you want to volunteer at a Vita Site, you can apply right there. There's an online form. We have uh, the Vita Site locations are listed. We have links and links to what you need to bring to Vita Sites. Um, the income qualifications, everything is right there at www.jwbpinellas.org slash WBC. Now, I know every year you all set a goal Mm -hmm. of how many people you are going to try to assist. How how did you do uh, this past year with the program? We, we were a little bit concerned last year because I think, as, as Sharon Stover, the uh, the county coordinator, told you on last year's show, um, we were con- the IRS was concerned that there wouldn't be as much coming back because a lot of people were out of work. More people were out of work. But we turned out we did get an increase last year, and uh, the 12 VITA sites that we had last year uh, brought back, uh, they did 3,200 returns, which brought back $5.9 million total. That includes all the credits. Uh, EITC accounted for 2.3 million of that. We had child tax credits and and other refunds that they um, were entitled to. So 5.9 million. Uh, let's hope that we get over that six million mark this year. That's mm-hmm. great. That is. And um, you know we're sitting here uh, fully aware of this program. But for some of our listeners, this project or this uh, earned income tax credit is part of the federal income tax system, and um, it is. Uh, essentially applied for through filing of your tax returns, which is why we put this show on in January, get everybody aware of it, so that um, during the next uh, few months before April 15th, everybody can uh, check out the opportunities that we're talking about today. Your tax return uh, is the vehicle for perhaps qualifying for some of these these credits. And um, as we'll get to in a few minutes, just filling out tax returns is not necessarily a happy thing for everybody. And this one of the amazing things about the Wealth Building Coalition's efforts is the assistance they provide with, uh, with tax uh, filing. Um, give us an example of the kind of person uh, or someone that you know that, that, that's uh, benefited from the Earned Income Tax Credit Project. Well, just off the top of my head, uh, last summer I, I met a gentleman that uh, worked at uh, Daystar Life Center down in uh, St. Petersburg. And he had he had gotten his W-2, saw that there wasn't much withheld, and thought, it's not even worth bothering. He just threw it in a drawer, wasn't going to file. Didn't, wasn't required to because of his income level, but he threw it in a drawer, decided not to file. And eventually, his, his uh, employer there at Daystar convinced him to come in. Daystar is a Vita site, mm. and convinced him to come in and do his taxes. And he found out that he's eligible to get $600 back. And, and that... 
$600 couldn't have come at a better time because right between finding out that, that, that that's what he was going to get back and getting it back, he learned that the building he lived in was going to be shut down. And he didn't have enough money for a deposit and first month, first and last month's rent. So that uh, that EITC credit right there might have saved him from from winding up homeless. So mm-hmm. that's that's just one example. And um, and I, I, I did one of the things that puzzled me when I first started working with this uh, program is why don't people claim it? Why why are only four out of five people claiming it? And we, what we've learned is that um, some of the, the situations, people actually have some understandable reasons why they might not think that they're eligible for it or might not claim it. Um, for instance, uh, people in rural rural areas, which we don't really have to worry about in Pinellas County. There's not a lot of uh, people living not in anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, people who are self-employed might not be aware of it. Um, people receiving disability or with children with disability they might be concerned that their uh, their benefits are affected by this, but the EITC credit does not affect those benefits. You won't lose any of that. Um, people without a qualifying child uh, might think that they're not eligible, but even if you don't have a child, if you meet the income uh, level, you can get up to $464 through this program. And uh, people who aren't proficient in English might not find out about the program or might not... Uh, might not have somebody that can that they trust to help them do their taxes. We've added a VITA site this year at the uh, Intercultural Advocacy Institute, the Hispanic Outreach Center here in Clearwater, that um, will help a lot of those Spanish-speaking residents. And we also have a Lilman Asian VITA site, which uh, has some people there that can speak some of the Asian languages that can help uh, people that speak those languages, uh, grandparents raising grandchildren. Maybe they didn't qualify it for it before, but now they have a grandchild that's living with them and, and they might qualify for it. Uh, Kinship Services Network is a big help in reaching those mm-hmm. residents. And uh, also people who have recently been divorced or unemployed, their status has changed and they might not have qualified before, but now they do. And uh, so th- those are just, it was interesting to me to find out, okay, yeah, that's that's why people aren't getting it, but it, we have those efforts in place to try to reach them. And these VITA sites are, are set up all over the county. As you mentioned, the, a lot of them have different uh, uh, specialty focuses yes. with, for, the, for, for grandparents and or for folks with uh, uh, non-English speaking. Um, how many sites do you have in the county this year? We have 13 this year. That's one additional. We had 12 last year. We added the, uh, the one at the Hispanic Outreach Center. Mm-hmm. That's a new one. Um, they're located, like you mentioned, all over the county from southern St. Pete all the way up to Tarpon Springs, from the beaches um, all the way, I don't know what the furthest eastern Vita site is, but uh, they are sprinkled around. And uh, I, if, if I could, just I'll, I'll name them all right now and, and sure. remind you that uh, you can go to www.jwbpinellas.org slash WBC to see a list of all of them. Uh, they're at uh, the James B. Sanderland Center in St. Petersburg. That's that's the site that returned the most money last year. Uh, we I think they got close to a million dollars last year in EITC alone, and uh, we're hoping to push over that mark this year. Mm. Uh, Child's Park YMCA in St. Pete, the Pinellas Opportunity Council in St. Petersburg, Lilman and Asian Neighborhood Family Center also in St. Pete, the uh, High Point Neighborhood Family Center, the Hispanic Outreach Center that I mentioned earlier, the Maddie Williams Neighborhood Family Center, that's formerly the Safety Harbor Neighborhood mm-hmm. Family Center, and the Enoch Davis Center in St. Petersburg, Daystar Life Center in St. Petersburg, the Tampa Bay Beaches Chamber of Commerce, that's one of those uh, specialty focus sites that you mentioned, Frank. That's a, uh, a roving site. You might think that out on the beaches, well, there aren't a lot of people that can afford to live on the beach that would qualify for the ITC. But uh, that site goes to some of the large resort hotels and, and helps their staff file their taxes for free. Um, the Grady Neighborhood Family Center, that's in the Greater Ridgecrest area, and Martin Luther King Jr. Family Center in Clearwater, that has a, a, a new uh, address this year. That's on 900 North Martin Luther King Avenue in Clearwater. And the Union Academy Family Neighborhood, Neighborhood Family Center in Tarpon Springs is the uh, furthest north Vita site that we have. And uh, I do, I do want to say that all the Vita sites do have various hours of operation. So um, give a call to the Vita site on our website. Those phone numbers are published on there. Uh, call them before you go to make sure they're open. 
You know, that is such an exciting part of this program, the volunteers that you have that are giving their time and their talents and their expertise to help these folks. And I think we should thank them for their service, certainly. And um, we talked earlier about the fact that you actually still have some spaces available for those who'd like to volunteer. So a couple of things. Number one, how do how would people volunteer with you? And tell us about some of the volunteers that you have. Where do they come from? Why why are they giving their time like this? Well, really, the volunteers at the Vita sites are where the rubber meets the road. That's what makes the program work. I mean, none of this money comes back without them preparing those tax returns. And like you said, they do come from all walks of life, from students to retirees. We have, uh, I need to recognize, really, Dr. James Fellows, the uh, professor of accounting down at USF St. Petersburg, who commits and, and recruits interns and volunteers from the department there, from the students. And we have 30, about 30 interns committed to volu- to, to intern at Vita Sites this year, and each one of those interns is going to commit 75 hours that's 30 people committing 75 hours and then another 15 volunteers that that may not uh, work as many hours but are just as important and uh, we have uh, retired people that have worked for the irs in the past retired accountants that uh, want to give back to the community and have some time to do that now and um, you can find out about all those volunteer opportunities at the website you can even uh, apply online there's a link to a form there where you can apply and even though the Vita sites are going to be opening now in, in a couple of weeks in mid-January, it's not too late to volunteer. Um, the tax season goes up through, what is it, April 20th? 15th. 15th. April 15th. And, uh, Why are we even thinking about that? We should all have that on the top of our, t- on the tip of our minds right now. <laughs> we put it out of our minds. <laughs> and, and, and it doesn't stop there, actually, uh, because uh, what we want to do is, is – enhance the year-round presence of uh, the Wealth Building Coalition, not only with financial literacy and education, but in encouraging people to that didn't file their taxes to do that, even though the deadline has passed. And, and you can even go back three years. If you haven't filed for three years, you can, you can claim that. And uh, that's why volunteers are, are always encouraged. And you can go to uh, www.jwbpinellas.org slash WBC and find out about what different volunteer opportunities you have, and how you can do that. That is tremendous. Um, I'd be curious to know what people should remember to bring with them when they get ready to come into a VITA site. What, what's the documentation that's important for them to remember to bring in? Okay, certainly, definitely you want to bring your valid picture identification, and you want to bring a copy of last year's federal tax return if you have it. If you didn't uh, file, then you won't be able to do that, but it helps the uh, tax preparers. Uh, You want to bring your Social Security cards for yourself, for your spouse, and any children that are born, that were born before um, the end of 2011, before January 31st, I mean, um, December 31st, 2011. Any child born before that, you want to bring their Social Security cards. W-2 forms from all the jobs that you've worked in 2011. 1099 forms that show other income that you received in 2011. And a blank check for direct deposit. Or you can bring a, the bank account name and what's called an ABA number. You can call your bank for that if you don't have a blank check to bring because they're going to direct p- deposit this money into your account. That helps you get it faster instead of waiting for a check from the IRS. And, and you might be in a situation that requires you to bring some other things like uh, um, child care expenses, um, mortgage statements, adoption expenses, alimony that you've paid or received, uh, notices that the IRS has sent you property tax bills, things like that that, that affect your uh, income. You need to bring that information with you if it applies, even uh, college tuition or student loan interest that you've paid, um, any forms that relate to prizes, awards, scholarships, um, even gambling winnings. Those are things that you need to include. And uh, you can call uh, the IRS at 1-800-829-1040 for replacement documents of any of those things that you've lost. And uh, on our website, you have a link there that, that you can look at, because that's a lot of information to remember. Mm-hmm. You can go to our website and look at all that list of things that you need to bring with you. And that'll definitely make it go a lot quicker if you have all those documents when you first go into the site to get the help. So that's mm-hmm. important Now, to if know. folks do show up and they, and they talk with one of the volunteers and they learn 
find that there's additional things they need to bring. Do, do you have follow-up appointments to, uh, to complete this process for folks? Or? Well, what, what, what our greeter screeners will do is, is tell them what they need to bring, remind them of uh, the Vita site's hours. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of our sites don't do appointments, uh, and, and usually there's not a long wait, so they can come back at any time and, and, uh, and do that. And sometimes maybe uh, it may be something that they could even find without even leaving the the Vita site. They might be able to you know, call a spouse and get them to fax it or something like that. Well, you mentioned direct deposit, and that is something that really benefits folks. Um, but uh, this year, at most of your sites, you're doing online filing for folks. Yeah, uh, that's 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 electronic filing is what the Vita sites do, mm-hmm. and uh, that helps things go faster. And uh, hopefully, that will discourage. Sometimes, when you need money fast, you might be tempted to go out and get that. Um, what, what we call, I don't think they call them that anymore, but refund anticipation loan or something that's going to charge you a lot of interest. And uh, so the IRS and the VITA program has, has strived to improve that time of return, and electronic filing does that. I think we really want to encourage people to, to not go that route. Please, if you can at all, wait and get to a VITA site for this free tax prep where you're going to get your refund, your earned income tax credit, and not have to pay anybody and and essentially be penalized um, for having to wait. It, it could be harder next year. You're more likely to need that money early again because you've, you've spent some of your money paying off that that loan from last year so yeah. hopefully you can you can wait and uh, and get all of your money that's what we want to do I think there's going to be a lot of people listening that mm-hmm. are going to be eligible for this program, so I hope that they will right. call. And a lot of folks who would go, I didn't think I would be eligible for something like that. And, and um, we encourage everybody to call the Vita site and check it out. At a minimum, you've got an opportunity here to get assistance in filing your income tax. And if you're not eligible for the EITC, the Vita site volunteers will still assist in the income tax filing. Is that, isn't that correct? Absolutely yes, um, and and also what what you get at the Vita sites. Many of them are neighborhood family centers. So they can help you with other things. They can they can link you to other financial um, education. They can link you to other programs that that could help you make it through the next year without needing that that early refund anticipation loan. So this is a, a good link to uh, to the services at the family centers and also uh, the uh, the self sufficiency programs that uh, the Wealth Building Coalition is sponsoring on a year round basis. Yeah, I mean there's there are so many partners in the Wealth Building Coalition, and uh, they do everything from uh, helping avoid foreclosure to helping uh, buy first time homes to uh, helping homeless mothers and their children. I mean, uh, the Sojourner Truth uh, Center is one program in particular that, that does that, and uh, helping those people get back on their feet and be self-sufficient. Mm-hmm. Great, great programs, yeah. uh, just outstanding. Uh, real quickly, the phone number for, um, for contact? Well, the, uh, the phone, the, the best way to reach Website. us is through 211. That's uh, 211 Tampa Bay Cares. If you call 211, they can, they can give you your uh, nearest uh, Vita site location, and they can help you with a lot of information like that. And you also have our website, jwbpinellas.org slash WBC. And uh, there you'll find the phone numbers for all the Vita sites that you can call and check for hours of operation. All right. Well, thank you very much. We are, uh, unfortunately, already out of time. Very much like to thank our guest, Eddie Birch, the Pinellas County Wealth Building Coalition Prosperity Campaign. We also thank Pinellas County Communications Department and, of course, WRXB 1590 AM Radio. For more information or comments about this show, call us at 727 464 or email us at housingfinanceauthority at pinellascounty.org. Remember, you can also catch past shows on the website, and you can even catch us on YouTube. Uh, Be sure to join us again next month. I'm Frank Bowman. And I'm Jane Merlin. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, there's there's no no place place like like home. home.